uh, to quickly create the trees. And again, let's color all our stuff. Alright, cool. Now let's start creating a few extra parameters to use. So for the first one, let's create um, the leaves toggle. So if we come up here, it's already got a toggle called leaves. And we, we can just use that. Copy parameter go down to the switch here and we'll paste the relative reference. So with this checked it's set to 1 and with it unchecked it's set to 0 so it'll just change the value of this switch by the reference and it's that easy. Now let's go and set up the LOD stuff. So we'll set up another uh, check box, edit parameter interface, we'll get a toggle drop it into quick settings, say um, load cull and call it load, load branch cull. Okay, apply that. Um, yep, it should be off by default because we don't want to cull um, by default. But if we set that on, let's see what it does. Copy parameter, let's go to the switch relative references. Okay, so now it's switched to the branch call, which means that the poly count's not too high for the big, uh, best lob level. Cool. Now what we can do is go to the leaves. Let's, so what we want to do, we want to be able to set an explicit amount of leaves. So if I say I want 2,000 leaves, there will be just 2,000 leaves scattered. So we'll create an attribute for that as well, oh sorry, a parameter for that. Let's go integer, um, leaves amount, leaves amount, apply. Uh, let's change the default for that, let's say something like 2000, which is what we had it as before, so it's just up in channels. You set the default here apply accept let's go in oh. and let's also actually set the range from 0 to uh, let's say 10,000 apply so that way you've got you know a slider that you can use let's take this copy this parameter Go to the scatter that we created earlier over here, which is where we're scattering the points for the leaves, paste relative references, and now we can just control it from the top level, much easier than having to dive in all the time. There we go, so we can turn on and off the leaves, branch cull, easy does it. So let's go 2000 leaves, all right. Now let's set up the level of detail switch. So let's call this um, load, load zero. Yep. And let's sort of get a tree that we're happy with. So let me clear this stroke, sort of draw again. Yeah, that'll do for now. Cool. Then um, maybe overall lift around here. The start can be a little bit higher. Very nice. All right, and before I create the other LOD levels, let me just do one more parameter here under leaves. We'll create one called P scale. So float under leaves. Let's say P scale. P scale, all right, uh, let's have a range as well, let's go like two channels, the default can be 0.5, apply, accept, copy parameter, and now let's uh, 
go to where we created the piece here. I should actually have named these nodes, which just for easier reference later, and paste these relative references. So now we can also control the piece scale from the top level. And I think that's all we need. So let's right click here, actions, create reference copy. So what this will do, it's created a copy of this, except every channel is referenced to the original, so that when you change the values on lot zero, it will automatically update them here as well. So we're just going to delete a few channels and change them, like um, branch cull, so now we're culling the branches, which takes the primitive count down significantly just by itself. Let's also go to the branch resolution here. If you click this, it will come up with the expression and let's multiply that by 0.7. Then we can go to the leaves amount as well, multiply that by 0.6, click p scale as well, and to account for having less uh, leaves, let's increase the p scale just a little bit, so times 1.2. There we go, and that should be good for LOD1. And I'm just using three LOD levels here, LOD0, LOD1, and then I'll make a LOD2. So the difference between LOD0 and 1 is pretty significant. And then we can just Alt-drag LOD1 over here, and that will create a duplicate of this. And let's just change the values. So branch resolution, 0.5, so it'll be quite quite a bit lower res, uh, maybe even 0.4 because it'll be far enough away it won't matter. Come to leaves amount, set that to 0.2 and then we can have the p scale 1.6 and that significantly lowers the uh, the amount of polygons again there. And now if we look through we can see they all have the same silhouette just at varying levels of detail. So when we set up the LODs in Unreal as we zoom out it's gonna switch to a different LOD. Now let's create a switch parameter down here and plug them all in so that LOD 0 will be at the at 0, 1 is it gonna be at 1 and two or two. Now let's create a split and we have to assign a material. So labs quick material is pretty handy and this will just um, create a material inside it in a mat network and that way Unreal will know that there are two different materials so you can assign two different materials inside Unreal. Let's call this leaves uh, we can just leave it like that for now, that'll be fine. Then another quick material here, and let's sort of set it, um, oh, let's leave it like that, that's fine. Trunk or branches, whichever, and merge those. There we go. And just for Visualizing, let's set this color to a brown. All right, so split needs to be leaves, of course. There we go. So there's our tree. Now let's put down a ROP FBX output, and this is uh, where you write the FBX, so Let's go, I'll make a new fold, I'll say tree tutorial, and now inside here I'll just say tree, all right, now. Now before that I'm also going to scale it up by 100, just so that I don't have to do it on its way into Unreal, um, and it will already be the correct size for Unreal. Now inside this FBX, what we can do um, sorry, inside the FBX output, what we can do is channel reference this switch so that it will create the LOD levels. So tree underscore LOD and then we can
copy this, copy parameter. 